The most famous reindeer of all Charles. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer Had a very shiny nose I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but it is currently snowing right now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is day 17 of Vlogmas. So as you guys may or may not have saw before it is actually snowing right now it's like wet snow though so it's not even sticking but apparently it's supposed to stick tomorrow so maybe maybe not we'll wake up to a fresh blanket of snow on the ground i think it's only supposed to snow about an inch or two i don't really have much planned for today i was thinking of building my little gingerbread village that my mom and I got from Target because I still have to build a gingerbread house this year. I haven't done it, so maybe I will ask on Insta if you guys can ask me questions. So that will be fun. Maybe my mom will want to do it. Let me go finish editing this video so that I can upload and send it to the company that I am working with. So. Hi guys, so I literally almost forgot again that I am making dinner tonight, so I don't know what is wrong with me today. I just keep forgetting that today is my day to make dinner, so I just wanted to show you guys a picture of what it looks like. It looks so, so good, so I'm very excited to see how it tastes. All right, so this is what it looks like. It looks beautiful. So I am making a roasted red pepper a la vodka pasta with cheesy oregano breadcrumbs. That sounds so good. And the picture just looks absolutely delicious. So let's do a little cooking with lice segment. Woo. So this is what the dinner looks like. It looks so good and it smells absolutely delicious. So very excited to try it. Hi guys, so right now my mom and I are going to be making a gingerbread village. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So we are not doing just a gingerbread house. Cause how basic. We're doing a gingerbread village. Isn't that cool? We, we leveled it up. <laughs> yeah, we leveled up, ladies. <laughs> I'm very excited. As you might have noticed, we put a nice little Christmas fireplace in the background to get ourselves very holly jolly and festive. So we are going to be making this gingerbread village while we answer questions that you guys asked on my Insta. So this should be very fun and exciting. Exciting. I'm excited for this. Are you? Yeah, I'm excited. We like weren't necessarily planning to do this today, but when you gotta produce content, you gotta think of it on the fly. So I was like, oh, we can do this today because we still haven't done it. Okay, so part of our little gingerbread village, we have a candy shop, a chalet, I have no idea what that is. Do you it's know like, what a chalet is? I think it's just like a house, like a French house or something. Yeah. Very fancy. Maybe you guys could tell us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone comment down below what a chalet is, or if I'm even saying that right. <laughs> and if you hear my dog running around, she is thinking that these gingerbread houses our treats, Our treats, which <laughs> they're not. Okay, we also can do a bakery, Santa's house, a bank, a sweet shop, and a toy shop. 
So I thought that was nice. They give you options of what you want your little gingerbread village to be. I'm gonna start kneading this because it usually says that you need to knead it. So while my mom is kneading the icing, I'm going to start asking the questions that you guys asked. Okay, so first question, what's your sign? So I am a Pisces. And I am a Scorpio. I feel like with us, you can really tell what our signs are. Like yes. We're just like the very stereotypical like Scorpio and Pisces. Yeah, Scorpio and Pisces. Yeah. Uh, and we're a house of water signs. She's yeah. the only Pisces. Everyone yep. else is a Scorpio. <laughs> yep, I'm the only little fishy in here. Next is fave holiday movie. Well, you know mine for sure. Mine is Elf. I absolutely love that movie. I could watch it several times during the holiday season. I feel like a recent favorite of mine has been the cartoon version of The Grinch. I love it. I think it's so much more entertaining than the human version. Like I know I said it guys, I like that one better. <laughs> like, I mean, yes, Jim Carrey, he's a legend, but I just feel like the human version is just a little too slow for me. And I just like the cartoon one. Yeah. It's like more entertaining. It's cute. And, and I like how the they switched it up too. Like yeah. they made it their own compared to the normal one. Okay, next question. Go to Starbucks order. Well, for me, during the holidays, it's the um, caramel brulee mm -hmm. latte with almond milk because I'm not too keen on regular milk. And then if it's not the holidays, it'd probably be a caramel macchiato. Yes. Um, I also love the caramel brulee latte. It's just so, so good. A Starbucks classic. Um, but then for my normal drink, I will normally do like an iced caramel macchiato. I will sometimes switch it up, but I think that's what I normally get typically. Okay, next question. Eggnog or hot chocolate? I honestly don't think I've ever tried eggnog before. I'm not too sure. So obviously I'll have to go with hot chocolate. The next question is how did your mom come up with your name? Okay, um, that's an interesting story. Uh, I was 15 years old when I picked out Leilani's name and I was waiting for a friend to finish getting ready. I was um, at a tour in Puerto Rico. This is going way back. There's a band called Menudo. You guys are probably very familiar with one of the singers, Ricky Morgan. He was part of that band. But um, I was waiting for my friend to finish getting ready and the TV was on and there was a little girl in the movie that her name was Leilani and she had very dark, long black hair and she was the cutest little thing and she had these big bright eyes. And I said, oh, I love her name. And I wrote it down and I went home and I told my mom, when I have a little girl, I'm gonna name her Leilani. And then fast forward, I find out I'm having a little girl and my mom says, what are you gonna name her? I said, but I told you, her name. When I was 15, her name is Leilani. So that's how we came up with Leilani's name. Favorite family Christmas traditions. So, um, Every year for Christmas Eve, we go out to this hibachi restaurant in our town. And we've gone literally every single year since we've been in this house. And I literally love that place so, so much. It's so good. They have the best hibachi and sushi ever. And it's just crazy that this year, like, we may or may not be going. We have no idea because, or like my grandpa normally comes with us. So if like he's not comfortable with going, we're probably not gonna go. My favorite would have to be that along with when we go into New York City to see the Christmas tree, which again, with the pandemic this year, we cannot go do that. Next question, what did you think of my YouTube channel at the very beginning and has it changed? I've always thought it was pretty awesome. Um, I know that when you first started, I just felt like she was a little shy in front of the camera, but I think as with anything, you gain more confidence, especially the more you do it. So I love to see how much she's grown 
throughout the years. Um, I don't mean like in viewer wise, I mean in the confidence that she has and um, she'll go out and now she's able to film vlogs in public and she doesn't care about, <laughs> you know, if people are staring at her. It's always so frustrating doing gingerbread houses because you're like, come on, I want this to work and I it's want not it to working. look perfect. Okay, I'm gonna move on from Santa's house because <laughs> the pieces are just like really confusing me. Like I just don't understand how they're supposed to connect. Like it just doesn't make sense to well, me. Well Santa's house will not be built today. <laughs> what was your favorite memory of me when I was a baby or when I was little? Well, if it's just in general, it would have to be, you always have been still um, smiling all the time and the, her love of dancing and singing, but dancing especially. Um, I think my favorite memory is when you were about almost two years old and I think that song, um, Instincts Bye Bye Bye, had um it was like a real big hit at that time and she would be the shyest little thing sitting in a corner or on a sofa or something and the moment that song would come out she she would just get up and start dancing and doing all the movements like they did in the video so i think that's <laughs> probably one of my favorite memories of Leilani when she was a little girl. This question says, how did you feel at the beginning of the pandemic? I mean, I was definitely confused because I wasn't really sure how long this was gonna last. So I was like, okay, am I gonna like go back to school in two weeks? Am I like never gonna see like my senior friends again? So. It was just like such a confusing time. Like I just felt like I was living in a movie. I'm like, oh my God, like is this real life right now? Now I'm just like hoping that it comes to an end soon because this is just like craziness. But I mean, we can't really rush things. Yeah, I think for me, I think it was the same thing. I think it was just the unknown for me. I was like, okay, is this gonna last two weeks? Cause at the time, um, they were saying, oh, it will, we'll be in isolation for um, two weeks and we'll see what happens. It's just crazy. Like the, at the beginning of the pandemic, I think it was just the uncertainty. I guess you kind of feel like a little anxious because you don't know what's going on. Favorite memories with each other? There's tons of them, but I think our, um, I guess our little mother-daughter things, like when we'll, we'll go into the city or like you saw in um, a video before, like we'll go to Princeton. I mean, even like just like basic little things like going to get your nails done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's just that quality time together. Anything with quality time I love. But nothing that's your favorite. My favorite memory with Leilani would probably have to be when we went to Europe. Um, we went to Paris and London. And I think what made it even more special was the fact that we had planned this trip all on, all on our own the year before. And we both said we always wanted to go to Europe. I always wanted to go to Paris. She always wanted to go to London. And we said we should do it. You know, we should just go ahead and do it. So I think that was probably one of my favorite memories. But there's there's lots of them. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think I'd have to agree that Europe was my favorite memory. I guess like being able to go to a Jonas Brothers concert when I was in third grade and then going to one last year, it was just like a full circle moment because I was like so young at the time, like literally like front row at the Good Morning America concert in New York and we literally woke up at like two o'clock in the morning and we like <sighs> that was took fun. the bus into the city we were just like waiting online for hours and like we ended up being right in the front and then for her birthday i got her a ticket to see the jonas brothers with me and it was just like so cool like was. being like there together 
when I was in third grade compared to a junior in college. So it's like, it was really nostalgic. A cool, yeah, it was like yeah. a cool moment. And I think also like, like see hearing the same songs that we heard back when you were in third grade and then again hearing it as an adult live again i thought that was so much fun one question is what does your mom think about youtube i think it's a great platform um i really like the idea that people are able to use their creativity and their knowledge and share it with the world um, I find myself going on to YouTube whenever I have a question for something or I want, it, I want to know how to do something. So I think it's excellent. And I think it's excellent for um, young performers who are trying to get themselves seen. So um, I really like YouTube. I think YouTube is fun. How long have you been YouTubing? I have had my channel since 2013. So almost eight years now, which is crazy. But I mean, I don't really count it for the full eight years because number one, towards the beginning, I was not really consistent with it. I would just post whenever. And like, I was little too. So I was like a little freshman in high school. So I feel like my videos aren't as good of quality as they are now. And last year I ended up taking a full year long break. So subtract another year from my time on YouTube. But I would say that this year I've been like taking it a lot more seriously. Like I've been super consistent on my channel. Like I'm actually treating it like the job that I want it to be. But yeah, like I was mentioning before and like I've mentioned in several videos in the past, I like want this to be like my side hustle, like not necessarily like my full time job, but definitely like a full on side hustle because I literally love YouTube so much and I don't really see myself ever stopping it. It's just a great side hustle. I mean, it's always important to have a side hustle because with literally this year, it's a prime example. Like you never know what is going to happen with your job. So many people have lost their jobs because of the pandemic. So, I mean, if you had a side hustle, like you would be able to like be kind of okay, like during the situation. Mm -hmm. So it's always important to like be prepared for the unknown, like this year has taught us. That's right. And I think something I always try to say is it's good to have multiple streams of income, even like non pandemic wise, like you never know if like you get laid off or like just any life situation, like you literally never know, like nothing is guaranteed. Mm -hmm. So that's why like, it's always good to have a side hustle. Like, so if you're talented in like sewing or using your Cricut machine, like go ahead and make an Etsy, like that's literally right. make that into a little business for yourself. I think the pandemic has shown a lot of people that too. Cause um, how many people are out there that know how to work a sewing machine and they've been able to make money. I mean, some of these people have even lost their real jobs um, and they've made money making the um, mask and stuff like that. It looks like we're already at the last question. Oh my and God. I feel like this is a good question to end off, but New Year's resolution. My New Year's resolution is to get back into doing the things that I love, which one of them is definitely acting. I have been thinking about it so much this year and I feel like with the pandemic also, I'm like, I really wanna get back into acting. I feel like I was like destined to become an actress, so it's definitely something that I want to get myself more involved in. So, of course, I have to take those baby steps, but I definitely want to just throw myself into the acting world again. Like, do or take acting classes, acting workshops, and eventually maybe move to LA. Like, that would be exciting. My best friend literally lives in LA too, so we've been talking about the possibility of me moving there. So I don't know, I just feel like 
next year is filled with like so much uncertainty still because of the pandemic, but I have a feeling that it's gonna be life changing for sure. I think for me, um, I've always wanted to dive into being an entrepreneur, like doing something that I like. Um, and just finding things that I love and trying to make it something that's a business. So I think for me, it would have to be possibly doing something with um, offering advice or coaching. So um, I still haven't narrowed down the niche yet, but um, that's something I would definitely like to do in the new year. Okay, so since we are done with the questions, I am going to pause the video right here and then I will update you guys when we are all done with our gingerbread houses. With the finished product. So we are done with our little gingerbread village. It's a little rough. <laughs> it, 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 it appears like the pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> it lived through yeah. the 2020 pandemic and but hey, they still had holly holly jolly feelings and they decorated. Yeah, so I mean it might have gone through a dumpster <laughs> fire of a year, but this is 2020 <laughs> in gingerbread house form. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey guys, so it is currently 1044 and I was watching The Masked Singer after I made the little gingerbread village with my mom and oh, it was such a good episode. It was actually the finale, so now there's no more Masked Singer until the spring, I think, so. So, so sad, but I am just going to end today's vlog right here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Rudolph the red nose reindeer Had a very shiny nose And if you ever saw it You would even say it glows